A judge raising an issue should not expect such an attack, a defamatory attack, from the Attorney General, who, one of whose primary functions is responsibility for the system of justice. I think he should resign. What judge, in his or her right mind, will give him advice about the merits of various candidates, knowing that if it suits him uh, politically, he will issue a press release detailing the conversation? What president of the Bar Association could trust him to maintain a confidence in the same circumstances? And having regard to the unawareness that he's shown in the recording that you played to me this morning about what he's done, it seems clear to me that that must carry over into his other functions uh, and uh, it's really difficult to conclude otherwise than that uh, he should go and do something else. What the attorney has done here is to say, well, you, you, you shouldn't be surprised if you get attacked and if you get a robust response. We've had the attack, indeed a defamation of Justice McMurdo. He thinks it's perfectly correct for him if it aids his position in a debate to breach a confidence. I would descri describe it as uh, ignorant. So we have the President of the Court of Appeal making a speech, criticising the government, saying we have some sort of bias against appointing women, when in fact it's absolutely incorrect. The President of the Court of Appeal, Justice McMurdo, has on other occasions also uh, chosen to enter the political arena and criticise this government, the government I lead. Now, if you want to go into the political arena, the public arena, then you have to be prepared that people will respond and defend their position. I think he had every right. I support him for having to defend the government in relation to this claim, which is untrue.